Okay, Dad, explain what you're doing here. Well, I just want to see how long it's going to take you to get... Satellite patrol? From here to Long Beach yeah. via 101. Okay, so we're concerned about right there. So it's starting to clear out, but... About right here? Yeah, right where the arrow is. Where all that white is? Yeah. It's a storm. It's wrapping it never around. never snows this much. I would mine. just... Yeah, I would take the coast route. Okay, so it's not that bad. Yeah. So nonstop, if you don't stop, it's going to be five hours and 40 minutes. Goodbye, beautiful city of Clovis. Did I say it right? Clovis? 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 Clovis. That is so gorge. It's so beautiful. That is so gorge. That is so beautiful. Oh my god. Fab. Good thing Very there's gonna be good thing there's gonna be music over this. It took us forever to edit the last one. Maybe this one won't be as long. We were going to talk about something very interesting that we just figured out about ourselves. Very Actually, interesting. I discovered it. So we discovered that I am a INTJ That's in Myers Briggs personality types, and you are a what? Can you remember what you were? You're a E S F J. So for those of you who aren't aware of what that means, um, Myers-Briggs personality uh, psychology is basically um, 16 different, broken down to 16 different personalities, four categories, two categories of each, which makes 16 possible combinations. Basically, you're an introvert, you're an extrovert, you are a sensor or you're intuitive, you are a feeler or a thinker, or you are a, and you are a um, judger or a uh, perceiver. We have both, so basically all our cognitive functions are different except for the last one, which is judging. So the ESFJ is known as the council. So they're actually like 12% of the population and they are um, known for being like really popular and well-liked. Like people like them because they tend to really care about what people think about them. And they really want everyone to be happy. And they're all about the good times, the good vibes. Um, whereas the INTJ is known as the architect and tends to not really care what people think about them. And we come across kind of weird to people. People, I get told a lot by people that they don't know that I like them. They think that I hate them. And when actually I, I, I tend to not have an opinion about people. I don't hate them or like them. It's very easy for me to be like, just very apathetic about a lot of personal things. Whereas Oleg, always has a very firm opinion on people, like very quickly too. Ooh, that sun. That sun though. Ugh. So regardless of your type or how you communicate with others, it is, or if you even believe that that's a thing, I, I do believe that it is really good to understand how you approach the world and how you see things and how other people don't kind of see things in the same way. Wouldn't you agree? And we've talked about this before. We did talk about this. And uh, the way I want to look at that is from the standpoint of just understanding a little bit better of how the other person communicates. Because the majority of disagreements happen um, because of very little stupid things, because of lack of understanding that the same thing could mean different things for a lot of people. Definitely, there are different ways in which people communicate. And it can be very difficult to um, sometimes, even if you generally like a person and you find them interesting when it comes to certain parts of a relationship or certain 
uh, trials and tribulations you come you come through in that relationship. It can be really hard sometimes to to try to see eye to eye with that person, like creatively or a business. Maybe you ha- do you find with that person interpersonally, like emotionally, but like when it comes to artistic vision or how to go through life, you completely butt heads or vice versa. I think from the day one of our relationships, we were told that we shouldn't be together, that it's never going to work. It's been for four years that we've been together. Uh-huh. And right now with this Myers personality test, we see that legitimately there are differences in our approach to life and just understanding of life and treating people around us and just communicating in general. So yeah, sometimes we can be saying the same thing, but we're coming at it from two different angles. So we start arguing about how we're coming to the same conclusion. And it could but be we're coming to the same very conclusion. miserable. It could be a par- partially a cultural difference as well. Obviously. Nah, come on. We've been at it for four years. You can't blame everything on a cultural difference. Well, that needs to be a whole other video about the difference between, you know, Russian men dating American women. Ukrainian. Ukrainian, Slavic, Damn all it. the same shit, okay? They're all crazy. So Ukrainian men dating American women, which you don't see very often, versus, I think, um, American men dating Ukrainian or Russian women. Because you see that a lot, but you don't see a lot of American girls dating Slavic men for a reason. Oh, let's get the hell out of here for a reason. Well, I think that it's a harder, it's a harder thing to uh, overcome. It's a harder cultural divide to over to overcome. But it's it's okay. That can be a that is a video for a different day. Trust me, I have a lot to say about that. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to know. Um, if you've taken the Myers-Briggs t- personality test, what you think of it, if it was accurate for you, and also um, if you've had a relationship with somebody who was completely opposite of your cognitive functions, how that went, and if you believe that it's possible to have a relationship with someone who has completely uh, opposite cognitive functions, um, which we do, except for the judgment one, which is like... Could that be a worse cognitive function to have in common with somebody? You're both judgmental. However, everything else is opposite. Oh my God. That sounds kind of like a, like a disaster. But we like to have these deep conversations when we're driving and we are stuck in horrible traffic in the middle of literally nowhere. Beautiful scenery. But we like to have these deep I like to have these deep conversations. The intuitive thinker likes to have these deep conversations. This sensing um, feeler does not like to have these kinds of conversations. No, well, the sensing feeler needs to agree to everything because otherwise, because the conversation the INTJ is, not going right. is always right, obviously. And that's about it. What a great conversation to have yeah, at guys. the end of Christmas. Fantastic conversation. Else, well, do I don't know if it's a good conversation or a bad conversation, but I would like to hear what you guys think about it. Does that even matter? Those personality types? Have you found it helpful in your day-to-day yeah. life? If you've, if you've implemented Myers-Briggs into how you relate to people at work or in your relationship, how has that worked out for you? And how do you guys use it? And how do you use it? Do you it? adjust yourself based on uh, the Myers personality test? Or do you just understand yourself better and, you know, find and try to surround yourself with people who are just <laughs> better or for you? Or just equal as good as you are and <laughs> or, don't suck like the other like, INTJ. Like a lot, a lot of, a lot of the, the, the uh, when they were talking about the ESFJ and the INTJ, they were just saying, just stay away from each other. If you're an INTJ, just don't associate with ESFJs. It's just for the best. So they should the just stay the hell away the from day each other. the is, should we stay away from each other? I don't know. Should we break that- up? That's should we call it a day? Yet to be answered. I know. Christmas. I don't think we should. I kind of like her. You like him? Okay. You're okay. okay. You're okay. You're okay. And I'm okay. He's what okay. a wonderful way to be together. If you find your partner, okay. He's all right. I mean, He's all right. She's okay. Wow. All right. Bye. <laughs>